everybody, I am back. Um, for all of y'all, those of y'all that are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Marie, and we are today working on part two of making a banner for my friend. Now, while I was off camera, I went ahead and I decorated three of the banners because I don't want y'all to sit here through all five. That would get boring, probably. Um, and this is what we got. I think that they're so pretty. And how proud of y'all are for of me for getting this video out, the second part so quick. This week, <clears throat> might have to tell y'all about it if I get a chance, but it's been absolutely crazy. Crazy. All right, let's start. I've got a bunch of stuff out. Um, let me turn on my <clears throat> glue gun. I do have my camera. Um, mm. Excuse me. I do have my camera set up just a little bit differently than I normally do. I'm trying out a couple of things to see if it works better. So y'all excuse me if it it's kind of close to me. Hopefully it won't get in the way. All right, let's start with the base of the decorating. Y'all see this, um, what's it called? Eyelash lace trim. Where is mine? I had a bunch cut out and now I don't see it. I thought I had everything right here, of course. And I don't. Let me, um, no, I know that I have it. Okay, y'all are gonna laugh. I just I just got up to look for the eyelash trim and I, I have it right here in front of me. It's right here. I've already cut it. This, just let me tell y'all, this was white, stark snow white. And I didn't want it to be white. And I didn't have time to do any tea dyeing or coffee dyeing. So I put them in, I put it in a box, in an Amazon box. And I have some um, Tim Holtz um, Distressing Ink Spray in many colors. And I use Vintage Photo color and I sprayed it. It was a little bit too dark for me. So I rinsed it just a little bit and kind of squeezed it out to get out the excess ink. And yeah, so much. I, I love it. Um, that is an option. I have done it numerous times on not times on many projects when I wanted that coffee dyed or tea dyed look, but didn't have to the time to do it. That will give you a pretty good, well, I think a really good coffee dyed or tea dyed look there. And like I said, if it's too dark, it's water soluble. Just rinse it, squeeze out, let it dry. And there you go. All right, let's attach these. This is going to go on first. And y'all remember we attached this um, mauvish polka dotted fabric here. And if y'all look, you can't see it real well, can you? Mm -mm, not very well, but look, it is peeking out of here. It is peeking out from underneath there. It is peeking in between the holes on this lace. It is right down here. I just promise y'all, it, it's a collaging effect with fabrics and laces. And I promise y'all that even though you can't see it like hugely, it is there. And it gives a very subtle, more lush effect. I, I don't know of any other, other word to use for it, but see, it's on top right there. Without it, that would be a little bit more stark. And, you know, maybe that's what you want. But I like the just visible. It's there. You're not sure even what it is. But it lends a, a certain quality that just amps it up a little bit. So, <clears throat> that's why I do what I do. Why so many layers and you cover them up? That's why. It's still there. and I just promise it does lend to the overall effect. All right, so we are gonna be attaching directly to the very base. I 
and I'm going to go ahead and do this to both pieces. Is this how today's going to go? Is this how today is going to go? Eyelash lace trim. See, no, come on. <clears throat> Don't let that be how today goes. That, you know, that's how the whole week is gone. There we go. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Y'all, so my um, first week of the semester this, this year, yeah, for those of y'all that don't know, I teach um, college, university, psychology courses, different different psychology courses. Um, it depends on what they want me to do. Um, and there is a reason why I don't teach. Okay, there are many reasons why I don't teach K through 12 and for those of y'all that do teach K through 12 I have got mad respect for y'all my daughter is actually applying for jobs right now she she has her teaching certification well I, I do think that there's one more step but um she is applying for jobs right now as a high school English teacher and I worry about her I do but many reasons that I don't teach K through 12 and one of those reasons is oops excuse me see hit the camera that's what I was afraid of one of those reasons is so that I don't have to deal with the parents okay now y'all look notice these fibers are longer and more than these I don't want it to be quite like that. That's a little too spidery for me. So off camera, I'm going to go over here to where my trash can is. And I am going to, you know, I'm going to do a little bit right here so y'all can see. Because I'm not going to go in and take chunk, chunk, chunks. I'm just going to do a little um, random. I'm doing it right here, aren't I? I'm not over the trash can anymore. That way I wasn't. <laughs> y'all, that's how this morning's been. I woke up and I stirred my coffee with the coffee scooper. Um, there were numerous things all in a row that I did that was just crazy. I didn't put my sugar in my coffee and took a, took a swig, which actually wasn't as bad as I would think it would be. But yeah, it's been one of those where's the brain kind of mornings. Okay, so one of the reasons why I don't teach K-12 through is so that I don't have to deal with, um, entitled parents parents of um kids who should be treated different and should not be held accountable and all of that good kind of stuff and i have to say it's not very often that i've even dealt with many kids who felt entitled every now and then i'll have one and okay fine whatever um, they're not going to be treated different i treat all of my students the same my light is already going down okay so y'all see that looks in my opinion better than all of the the spider legs okay and because i teach adults and there's I am absolutely not allowed. Parents are not allowed to contact me. They're simply not. I'm not to mention you want mommy and daddy contact you, Professor, because you feel like she's being mean. Anyway, one of my policies is that I don't accept late work. And this one girl who's been absent quite a bit contacted me and said, I was absent today. Please open up the assignment so I can do it and submit it. I was like, no, read the addendum. By the way, they already had a quiz on the addendum. She, and, and she didn't get the answer wrong. Nobody did. I don't accept late work. She knows that. And I reminded her again, you know, hey, check the addendum. No late work. And we went back and forth on the addendum for quite a while. And she said this, she sent me an email. This is so unfair. 
and I emailed her back. How is this unfair? Please tell me. And I'll tell y'all how it would be unfair if I gave her an extra privilege that I don't give other students. It wouldn't be fair to my other students who have zeros because they were absent and they couldn't turn work in. I called in to work the other day. I couldn't go in. I could not. Like, there was no way I could go in. And guess what? My pay is being docked for that day. I didn't go to my supervisor and go, hey, you're being unfair about that. I know. That's the rules. That's the way that it is. doesn't matter why. Even though I do allow makeup work. Like, you know, if you have COVID or doctor's note or tragedy in the family or whatever, sure, okay, I'll work with you. So anyway, I was on my way to the hospital with my son. He'll be having surgery very soon. It's a long drive, y'all. It is not here in this town. And I was on the highway. I didn't have Bluetooth hooked up because it wasn't my car. It's my husband's. And my phone rang over and over and over. But I wasn't answering it because I was on Highway 85. And um, I'm at the hospital. And I see this number has just called me over and over and over. So I call it back. And it is the girl's mommy. And she is yelling at me right in front of the nurse. That I am childish and she doesn't like my attitude. Anyway, y'all, just so y'all know, no, I did not give in. I'm not doing it. But I've never been contacted by a parent before. It was my very first time. You're in college and you're having mommy contact me? Just stunned. Then yesterday, I was doing, um, it was the, okay, now if y'all will look here. Wait, no, this is one I just did. Okay, sorry. If y'all look here, y'all will see every one of these also has this lace. This lace on top of the eyelash lace. I'm going to put that next. Still up underneath the polka dot lace. So I do a, um, a lecture and two little films on bulimia and anorexia for my human growth and development class. And I always tell my class, look, if you feel triggered by this or something that you, it's just too much for you, you are free to leave. I don't expect anybody to sit through um, anything that, that would harm them in any way, of course. And so this one girl, she got mostly through the bulimia film, but she left towards the end. And I honestly thought she, you know, she probably has an appointment or something. You know. Didn't think anything of it. So I get a call after class that she was leaving because she has some issues in that area. And I guess weight is a, a thing in her mind. I, I don't know. It's, I don't know all the details. But on the way out, one of her classmates said loud enough so she could hear it. I didn't hear it. Like I said, I got the phone call that told me. But she heard it that said, of course she's leaving. So I've got to go in on Tuesday and have a not so nice discussion with about bullying, about bullying to my college students. Are you kidding me? And we just finished watching the movie Mean Girls for a lecture about aggression. Are you kidding me? I just... I don't even know what to say. Let's see, I already have these cut, but obviously that's way too short. So, I'm ready for the end of the semester. Normally, honestly, y'all, I've, I've got the best job on the planet. I love all of my students. I love what I do. Absolutely, it's the best thing on earth. But this semester's been a little rough. I'm always tired by the end of it, you know, ready for a break, but not usually for these reasons. Just, you know, just because I'm ready for a break. But jeez. All right. 
Y'all have heard enough about my weekly issues. How has y'all's week been? Y'all tell me something good and fun. Or not. I'll listen to to anything. We all have our issues, don't we? For sure. Where did I put this lace? Because I'm going to need another piece. That hurts me, though, that that student heard that. You know, people have enough problems. And we all do. You know, if you think that you're perfect and don't have any, well, that in itself is a problem, right? You know, I might be able to piece together a long enough piece. And because I put so much layering... It may not matter. Let me look and see. I don't know why I cut such a short piece. What was I thinking? What was I doing? Who knows? All right, so let's put this big piece towards the top. <clears throat> and then we have that piece no wrong way wrong way we have that piece then we have that piece i think that that will work i do that will work i'll put something pretty pretty over here because i honestly i don't Remember, maybe that's why that piece was short. Did I run out? I'm just not seeing it, and I'm honestly not certain. Okay. Yeah, that is one thing that I love about the um, the shabby look is you can get away it, you know it's perfectly imperfect and there's so much that you can get away with and it's still so beautiful in fact possibly more beautiful because of the imperfections all right this one's in front of me let's go ahead and work on this one i'm gonna go ahead and put those two pearls on top so that i don't forget I was doing one the other day and I was like it's missing something <laughs> it was the pearls on top okay now I am um, like I said I'm making this for a friend but if you want one let me know I um I was told by someone that I really need to sell them and yeah I don't I don't know I really haven't given it much thought I don't know if they would be sellable so I just I'll see what kind of response I get and you know if you want would like for me to make you one I would be glad to do that and put some in my my Etsy shop or you know even sell one-on-one -on -one. Just building up. Those laces. Hmm, I think I'm just going to go part of the way up with that one. I don't think I want to go all the way. <clears throat> I 
Oh, that is so cute. Okay, I want a little bit of, I want a little bit of pink peeking out. Just a touch. Just a touch. I like that. All right, and I'm going to add anything else over there. I don't know. Mm. <clears throat> Let's see. Well, oh, my light went dead over there. Can y'all hear the train? I don't know if y'all y'all can pick up that sound over the camera or not. I love the sound of a train going by. And my husband doesn't care for it because he, he works in logistics and he just doesn't like, you know, the principles, I, I guess, or the having to deal with it. I don't know, but I just love the sound of a train off in the distance. Okay, y'all, so I hope that y'all can see that I'm kind of building, but not yet gluing, not making a total commitment. Kind of building just to see exactly what I'm going to do here. And that has to come off there. Let me get rid of that just so I can get an, get an idea of exactly how that's going to look. <clears throat> Yeah, I really, really like that. I do. Um, <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and glue that down over here. Don't know yet if I'm going to put anything over here or not. I like to shift the weight of things. Um, I don't know of any other better way <laughs> to explain it. I don't always, I, I don't like, I think the expected thing is for everything to absolutely be centered, I guess, and I've just, nothing wrong with being centered, obviously my, this is centered, you know, so, but sometimes, just for visual interest, I guess, I like adding things off to one side and maybe not off to the other. <clears throat> okay. Um, let's see how this might look. Oh, I just had something on mind and that quickly it just escaped me. <clears throat> Excuse me, my goodness. Yes, y'all, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Because I was thinking of something. That quick it is gone. I'm now looking at my scraps here around me because I've, I'm thinking of something. Um. Where'd it go? I just, there it is.
I missed that. <clears throat> I do like that, I do. I think I'm gonna glue it. Secure it down, secure it down. Ow, ow, ow. Stuck my finger right in the glue. Oh my goodness, that is adorable. Adorable. Okay, what am I doing here? I do not know. Picking all of the um, glue off my fingertips. Okay, let's see here. I think I'm gonna get some netting. What is this? Oh, that's my cute little little bows. <clears throat> I hope y'all can see that this would also be a um a really good way to use your leftover and scrap pieces. I don't know about y'all, but I have a ton. A ton. I like that. I do. Um, hubba dubba 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 dubba. Let's see. I don't know if I want to do it this way because I'll just cut right there and see how it goes. Okay. <clears throat> so do I want to use it here? So that's going to be covered up no matter how I slice it or here. have that poking out a little bit there. Now I think over here works better. Oh no! I'm losing the pearls. I didn't know that they were attached. Alright, well I'm going to cut those off anyway, but don't want to lose any more. So let me put the glue back there. I'll go ahead and trim here yeah yeah my fingers in the glue again oh what a mess I have just made That's actually not how I want it. Do I need to cover? Yeah, I'm going to have to. So that's going to have to come off anyway. Okay.
think this kind of weaseled out of there as I was working, didn't it? Because <laughs> that's a little bit too much. Oh, that's okay. Oh, you know why? Because I didn't glue it down. And it's supposed to be up under. Oh, my goodness. All right. thinking I might be asleep. Okay. I think I like it. Like it like that. Um boo boo boo. Boo 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 You know what? Let me put my little pearls up there at the top. Yeah, you know, I have so many fun and pretty little things it's sometimes hard to decide exactly what I'm gonna use. Like that would be pretty there. That would be pretty there. No, that would be pretty there. That would be you can only use so much. You've got to save the other for for later for another project. Okay. All right. Do I like that there or don't I? I really don't know yet. I don't know. I don't know. Don't think I do over there. Mm -mm. Okay, not bad. See, that's kind of cute, isn't it? And it have, has all those shabby chic colors in it. But would I like it better down here on the tip? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. That is so beautiful. Nowhere, I don't think. I'm looking, I'm like, nowhere to wait a minute. That's not bad. That's not bad. Hmm. <clears throat> huh. Would it? Hmm. All right, let me glue that and then have a look. You know, I do this sometimes. I will glue and I will cut and, I'll be, and then I'll just change on my no. I don't like it. I'm not using it. But I always use it in something. You know, so it's not a waste. I've got pink there. Where is my cream? Where is my cream cheesecloth? 
y'all are probably looking at it thinking, I can't believe she doesn't see her cream cheesecloth. <clears throat> I'll cut another little piece. do like that um and then let's see here let me untie this piece of lace That's actually the right length or the length that I like right there um, but I don't think that I want it to go all the way up I don't think let me see hmm you know or maybe I do I'm kind of liking that I like it, I do. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and glue it straight on top because I know that I'm done with this side. It's not a big deal. Go ahead and glue that down. <clears throat> All right, where is it? Here we go. All right, I just want to cut out the leaves, but I want to also keep it together if at all possible. And it may not be, and if not, that's fine. I'll just put it on two separate pieces if I have to. Might even work out better. Yeah, it's just hanging on by a thread. I'm going to go ahead and make it two pieces. think that I was liking that down there and this up there was that it now see I'm not liking it as much now because I had to cut it all the way out mm, no I'm not liking that let me just play with it for a minute Do I bring it down here? I kind of wanted something up at the top. Now, see, I'm just, I'm not loving that. Ow. Oh, I got a cramp. Sorry, y'all. Saying I, I do like that. I like it. I like it. I like it. Though I do think that down here is missing a little something. I'm not sure what it is. I'll play with it for a minute. Fancy up my jar a little bit, Donna. It's just an old mason jar. 
with a ton of buttons. I do like that. You know, I really do. Uh, I think I think I'm going with it. I I just like that. I yeah, no need to go any further. I really do like that. Okay, I'm going to have a look at every single one of my banners just to make sure that I'm happy, to make sure that there is nothing that I want to add, nothing that I want to subtract. Oh, I did want to add that little, um, that little key. Let me get out one of my bulb pins. Is that not the cutest? Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Let's see. No, not that one. Do I add it to the one that has a key? All right, well, I'm gonna leave that for a while, and actually, I think I wanna angle it. I wanna angle it just a little bit. I can see that already. Let me angle it. Yeah, yeah, that's cute. That is cute. Okay. All right, going to start building the banner now. I think I am done with these, but I can't promise y'all that when I get off camera, I'm not going to add more or take away. But I think, I think that I'm happy. But every now and then something will just kind of gnaw at me until I go back and change it. All right, where is my piece of fur, my string. There we go. All right, so I am going to first tie a loop just to make hanging easier and also to stop my beads, right? All right, I am going to add a little bit of um, glue to that just because I don't want it to come undone and then beads go absolutely wrong because that just feels slippery and I'm not trusting it. All right, so I've already gathered my beads and I believe that I have more than enough. I cut up some sequin lace. I ripped up some fabrics all to put the banner together. Okay, so first 
Oh, I didn't put my fur in a needle. Definitely going to have to do that. All right, let me grab that. I'll grab it here. Does anyone have another way of um, getting beads on two big pieces of fabric and stuff like that other than, than this kind of needle? Not that I don't love this kind of needle. I do. I just, you know, just wondering if there, if anyone has figured out another way, a better way, you know, just in case I can't find my needle have a bunch of them but they do come up missing sometimes I have to admit though I use these quite a lot for my beading and normally it's not this difficult to get stuff through and the last time I made a banner it was not this difficult to get the fur through there we go and for those of y'all wondering, no, this is not real fur. Absolutely not. There we go. All right. So, three beads or whatever you want to use. You know, you don't have to use the beads. These are, if you're wondering, these are bubblegum beads. One. bubblegum ball beads two and three okay all the way down to the end where I glued now I want to leave some room right here because I am going to tie these things in between to give it um to give it a shabby look okay so we definitely want to leave a little bit of room right there before we tie before we um glue our banner on so banner number one you're gonna go right there a little bit of room there yep mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay Oop, sorry camera okay okay three more beads I should have had my beads over here so I could um, see them better I actually think that I want this one over here. Leave that little bit of room that I'm going to need. And put on my second one. <clears throat> Just making sure that it's about the same height, you know, on the banner down as the other one. I want them to, to be as even as possible. 
though I am not measuring. Y'all know that. And there's really no need. Eyeballing that is good enough. It's absolutely going to work out. I promise. If it doesn't, then I might cry a little bit and then fix it. <laughs> I actually, I will not cry, but I'll be frustrated. All right. Now my mid on. Which one do I want that to be? Mm, I don't know. I think I'm going to do this one and more beads. So let's do glass pink. Pearly. Uh oh, there we go. And Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, get back over here. Okay. Don't forget to leave the room. y'all you can tie the the fabric and lace you know so thin that even if you forgot to leave room you could make room it's it's just not a huge deal I just don't want to be struggling to do that so I try to remember to leave the room for the for the rag pieces they're actually not rag parts but if that's all you've got, I will tell you that a torn up rag tied in between would be adorable, I think. Come on. Here we go. Every now and then you'll meet a bead that only has one hole, and that doesn't work. <laughs> so, but anyway, that worked. There we go. Let's do this one. For those of y'all that did not watch part one, you're interested in making this. I definitely think that you should, but if not, and you just love these prints and digitals that I used, that is from Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. Etsy shop that is her digital ruffles and roses kit and it is absolutely adorable I have used every one of her kits so far and I love them all I really do the kit that I used for my own banner was from her um, harvest waltz collection I absolutely love it but you know I think this one might be my favorite and I know I've probably said that before. Maybe I'm just really biased to whatever it is that I'm using and working on <laughs> at the time. I don't know. But either way, I am loving 
I'm loving this kit. I'm loving it. So y'all check out her Etsy shop. All right, three more beads. Y'all get up here. My banners falling off to the side and pulling, pulling, pulling. I don't want it pulling. Okay. I actually want that to go on last, I think. No, my light is actually blinking again. Are you kidding me? Do I need new batteries? Maybe. Sorry, hit the camera again. I don't think it's going to work right here. I'm going to have to find somewhere else to put it. I just hit it too much right here. I was trying to get my ring light a bit closer to my project for better lighting. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. think I will use a um another pink find yeah that's pretty so is that oh I like that okay really like that okay y'all see the glue on my fingernails it's fun Those are the last three. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue here at the end. Well, you know what? I'm gonna tie the knot first. I just think that would be easier to tie the knot and then glue. So I was just thinking about the train going by and I really, really love the sound of it. It makes me feel warm and cozy for some reason. Um, and it reminds me of fall. Are there any sounds of fall that y'all really, really love that other people might think you're a little bit crazy? So I love the sound of chainsaws and I love off in the distance, you know, don't want it too close, too, too noisy. And I love the sound of crows. Now that those are done, I am going to tie on the scrappies. My cutout pieces of fabric. And this is a little bit, you know what, that's, that one's a little bit thick actually. A little bit too thick of a piece. This is a little time consuming. I don't know if I want to bore y'all and... Have y'all watched the entire fabric tie on or not? But I will let y'all at least see. Come on. There we go. A few of the pieces. So I, I tie between every single um, bead. Before and after. All 
All right, so y'all get the idea of what I'm doing here, I think. So I'm going to go off camera to continue. See, I didn't leave quite enough. Yeah, there we go. Um, go off of camera and continue to tie the rest. I'm also going to just trim this up. And I will be back to show y'all the finished banner. Okay, I am back and I am finished with the banner. And... What do y'all think? Do y'all, oh, no, I got a glue down. <laughs> I'm glad I picked that up and saw that, y'all. That's an important step. Securely gluing everything down. Almost forgot that carried away. Just make sure that everything's secure. Y'all remember we didn't glue a lot of that as we went because I wanted to be able to have room to, to put stuff. Anyway, I would like to be able to show y'all the whole thing hanging, but it's not my banner. It's going to my friend, and so she should be the one to hang it first. Y'all can see my banner hanging on my sideboard in a video it was like two or three videos ago where I showed my banner hanging and I was asked in the video to show my process okay oh, I love it I love it I just love it it's so pretty it's so pretty and I think I have well I actually have two places in my craft room that I'm thinking that this would be really beautiful so I think I'm going to make me one at some point. Oh, that is just so pretty and lush, and I love it. Oh, that needs a little bit of glue there. All right, so I'm going to lay it down and then slide it across so y'all can see how it looks kind of, kind of laying there. I love that little pearl dangle there. I love that digital. Oh, so pretty. Oh, and that says dangles. Perfect, perfect. I love it. And I hope that she does as well. Alright guys, that is it. I hope that y'all enjoyed this and I hope that some of y'all will take the time to make a banner. I love it. So pretty, so much fun. Anyway, thank y'all for watching and I will see y'all again hopefully soon. Bye.